everybody, welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today, we have probably one of the most ec... What the hell am I saying? What the hell is even that? What are you doing, Alley Cat? What are you doing, Alley Cat? Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have one of the most epic custom action figures that I've absolutely ever seen from my boy Nick's Custom Toys, guys. You will uh, have to go give him a follow, guys, because he is literally one of the best customizers in the game. It is in this box here. I've already opened it. I've already looked at it. I will admit it because I couldn't contain myself, and we had to get through the stomping grounds predictions and the setup, and you guys can still see the setup was still going on back there. It kind of looks weird, doesn't it? Like the lighting is a little weird or something. It's because I'm trying to finish Vindication, so one of the lamps is in the other room and I do not want to get my lazy butt up and go and get the lamp so we're just going to have to deal with it here and we're going to showcase what Nick has here today guys in this box I already have it unwrapped guys we have a Buddy Murphy custom elite figure and this figure guys holy mama Christ this figure ladies and gentlemen this figure is probably one of the most detailed most insane custom figures I've ever looked at in my entire life it's definitely the most detailed figure in my collection and I remember a while back we were talking I was I was talking to Nick and I was showing off my custom figure collection and he said you need to have one of my figures in your collection and by god did we make it happen guys buddy murphy here this is so insane when you look at the work that went into this when you look at the paint detail and the sculpt work that this man did it's absolutely bar none he has nipples on the figures guys nipples just taking a zoom in look guys look at all this paint detail you can see like the flesh tone you can see the different tones going in and the muscles and everything guys look at this sculpt he sculpted on the wrist tape he sculpted on on the elbow pad he sculpted on the knee pads all of the kick pad work all of the paint detail look at the rips on the pants guys he has the rips on the pants he had to take a, a figure literally sand down the leg and then sculpt over and create these shorts. You know how Buddy Murphy has those crazy shorts, and I'm so glad I got this attire, guys. This is my favorite Buddy Murphy attire that he's ever worn. I believe it was WrestleMania 35. I'm pretty sure he wore this attire, and it looks fantastic. Versus Tony Nese, he wore this Buddy Murphy best kept secret Joker attire, guys. Just look at how beautiful everything looks. Like it says Murphy right there on the leg. You got the sh on the side because he's the best kept secret. So he wants you to shut the hell up and not talk about him because he's the best kept secret, right? On the right, guys, look at this Joker logo right here. You can see it says best kept secret. All this is hand painted, guys. You have the year on there. It says best kept secret. You got the Joker face with the X's over the eyes. You got the red going through. Absolutely beautiful job, man. And this looks great. It says Melbourne on the top. Anyways, going down to the knee pads, guys, you have the still the same paint detail down here. The purple and the green and the white just looks so fantastic, man. This, I mean, this guy nailed it. Like, the flesh tone and everything going on with this figure. I mean, this thing is fantastic, man. I, I wish that Buddy Murphy got more TV time. Has he even been on SmackDown Live since the draft? Maybe once, right? Um, I don't even know if he has been, but he used a Carl Anderson head scan, and you can't even tell, man. It looks so good. It looks just like Buddy Murphy. I've seen other people use other head scans, but he did give us two different head scans to use. You have this head scan, and then you have the other one in the baggie, and uh, I think, I don't know, I can't decide which one I like more. I guess you guys can comment down below. Let's go ahead and take it out of the baggie here so we can see exactly uh, what we're looking at here. Here are the two different options. You guys let me know down in the comment section below. I don't even know who he used for this one on the right, but comment down below, guys. Do you like this one on the right, or do you like the one on the left? I would love to know down in the comment section below, guys. Uh, fantastic sculpt work, though. The, the the paint detail and the hair and the skin tone. I can't get over the skin tone, dude. Like, this figure is so detailed. It's definitely, again, like I said, the most detailed figure in my collection. And I'm so happy to have a Buddy Murphy. I don't think I've seen many Buddy Murphys. I've seen a couple on Instagram, but never in this detail, not this attire. I think this is the only one I've seen in this attire. And it's so fantastic because we've never gotten this, sh this shorts mold from Mattel. So it's really difficult to create a Buddy Murphy if you want it fully accurate. You know, you could just throw some Kevin Owens shorts or some Uso so shorts or, you know, some Akira Tozawa shorts on this guy and, you know, make a Buddy Murphy, but it won't be fully accurate, right? This guy nailed it. Nick, you are an absolute baller, man. Thank you so much for this figure. You are truly one of the best customizers in the game. So talented, and it looks so good, man. I, I am very excited for this. And we have to throw the Cruiserweight Championship on him. We have to cr throw the, the Cruiserweight Championship on him because I have to see exactly what he looks like here with the cruiser give me that akira so we take that and we just throw it over his shoulder guys look at how beautiful holding the cruiserweight championship 
and this man looks great. Oh my goodness. Now look at the purples bouncing off each other. Cruiserweight champion. Honestly, should have should have never lost it because he's not doing anything on the main roster. He's totally going to waste. And uh, I would much rather this man be on 205 Live with the Cruiserweight Championship, getting things done, having great matches with guys like Akira Tozawa and Tony Nese and things of that nature. But you know what? It is what it is. But I'm so happy with this figure, guys. Thank you so very much to Nick again. Definitely go give him a follow on Instagram, guys. I am so blown out of the water by this figure, and I'm super excited for it. And again, vote down below which head skin you like better. I'm not sure if we'll have him in the pick fed, guys, because um, this figure is so detailed. I really do not want to, you know, damage it. I don't want to get anything messed up with it. But I'm pretty sure maybe I can use one of the head scans, and uh, maybe I can make another Buddy Murphy that doesn't have as much, you know, uh, sculpt work and, and paint work, and maybe throw this head scan on another Buddy Murphy that I make myself. Maybe uh, we can repaint it or something. And so uh, I, I definitely won't be able to repaint the body like Nick did, so I'll probably have to repaint the head scan or something just to get it back to regular Mattel skin tone so that I could use them in the pick fed. But we'll have to see about that. I'll have to do some digging and some investigating. But this figure is by far one of the best figures in my collection, man. It's so detailed. It's so crazy. And I love it to death. I love all the shorts. And again, it's my favorite Buddy Murphy attire, so that even throws it over the top. But that does it for this custom figure, man. I, I really do love it. The freaking just the, the excellence of Nick is, is freaking bar none, man. Definitely go give him a follow on Instagram, guys. Check out his work. He is by far one of the most talented customizers I've ever seen. And I really do appreciate it. Just looking at it now, it reminds me of Buzz Lightyear. I really do love it, man. Freaking huge Buzz Lightyear fan as well as the Joker. So, I mean, this is this is fantastic. But thank you guys for watching. That's going to do it for this custom figure review, guys. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you missed the stomping ground setup, you missed the stomping ground predictions, definitely go check those out. Vindication is coming slowly but surely, man. We're, we're working on it. I know it's been a while, but I had to take a break and I had to clear my head and get everything together. But now, once we get the first Vindication out, all the rest will totally flow because we know what we're doing and the highlight stuff should make the shows flow better. So we'll have to see, guys. But thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at my damn toys. Do not forget to go follow Nick as well because he is a beast. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.